or as the French say, good evening. Uh, <laughs> no, it's bonjour, bienvenue. Yes, yes, I'm learning. I'm trying to practice my French. I'm not going to lie, Montreal probably has the sexiest border I've ever come to in my life. Yeah, I didn't feel like I was being interrogated. I felt like I was being flirted with. <laughs> it was really sexy. And say, so what are you planning to do in Montreal? I'm planning to stay. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> The French, the French, the most romantic language in the world. I don't know why the accent is romantic as well, but it is. It's funny how every accent has its own connotation to it. You speak with a French accent, you are sexy. How are you, ladies? And then there's some accents just have no sex appeal to them at all. You know? Like the Russian accent. There's nothing sexy about it. Everything the Russians say, Sounds dangerous and menacing. <laughs> Doesn't matter what they say, because they've got that thing. Yes, I'm Russian. Go to kill you, break you, destroy your family. Like, even if Russians say nice things, it still sounds dangerous. They still go, yes, fluffy rabbits and teddy bears. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> it's like that weird thing. Like the Russian accent is so. And you know, like the crazy thing about the Russians is everyone in the world is afraid of them. Everyone, no matter where you go in the world. You know the Russians are frightening because they're the only country that makes America think before doing something. <laughs> Everywhere else in the world, America acts when something happens. When Russia does something, we, we think about it. <laughs> yeah? yeah, you saw the whole thing that happened with that plane that was shot down, the Malaysian flight, the Ukrainian rebels shot the plane, the plane came down. You know, America came out, Barack Obama, he was there. He's like, we gotta, we gotta find out uh, who did this. We're gonna come down on them like, a, like an iron fist. We're gonna let them know what time it is. I'm paraphrasing. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and then everyone found out it was the Russians that supplied the Ukrainian rebels with the missile that shot down the plane. And then all of a sudden Obama was like, but uh, uh, let's not rush to conclusions. Uh, let's take our time and uh, not point fingers, uh, especially not at the Russians. Uh, I'm going home now, thank you very much. <laughs> There's something about the Russians, the Russians, the Russians. You know what's weird is, I find the Russian accent frightening, but not the Russian language. It's the strangest thing ever. There's certain languages I find frightening. There's certain accents that throw me off. You know, for instance, I find Arabic frightening as a language. You know, it just has that thing in it. The guy could be saying anything. We're talking about Candy Crush. <laughs> but it's because we've watched all those movies, all those TV shows. Every time you see Arabic, some bad shit goes down. It's never something cool or sexy, you know? It's never like. It's never that. So the language is frightening, but Russian, for some reason, I don't find frightening at all. Yeah. I don't, I, I realized this, I was walking through the streets of New York and there was a Russian guy, he was walking next to me and he happened to be on the phone, right? And it sounded like he was setting up a drug deal. And so this guy is walking next to me and he's talking and he switched from Russian, he switched from English, the English-Russian accent into Russian. And it went from fear to no fear, it was the strangest thing ever, he was on the phone and he was like, yeah, no Vlad, don't worry, the guys go to bed at 3 o'clock, okay? You meet them, you tell me after that, you go to the package, we call. Don't, no, don't worry, hey Vlad, no, listen, Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. And it was the craziest thing ever. He went from like international criminal to immigrant. It was the weirdest thing. Like I had no fear at all. I'm not afraid of the Russian language, just the accent. In fact, to me, the Russian language just sounds like someone's playing a vinyl backwards. That's all I hear. <laughs> it sounds like someone took a DJ of English and they were just there like, yeah, yeah. He's just like, yes, yes. We got to find, don't worry, Vlad. The guys got to be there, three o'clock, okay? Yeah, yeah, bring the package. Don't worry about that. After that, you find, you give me the call, okay? No, no, Vlad, Vlad, Vlad. Нет, нет, нет. Витноч, get вот на жет, радич, вот лигат на жет. Эй, витноч, как о витноч, вот зинач, вот зиржи, вот get that. It not bit, not bit, a bit, a bit Russian. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Uh, 
And if there's any Russian people here tonight, I'm joking. Please, I don't want to have issues after the show. Walking out of the theater, hey, found the guy. Why you don't come DJ here, eh? Wiki wiki, do it again. <laughs>